And welcome back to The Factor on Sense. The summer swim season is here, but there aren't enough lifeguards on duty. The Houston Parks and Recreation Department has been trying to fill those positions, offering a $500 incentive on top of $16 an hour. The lifeguard shortage is happening all across the country. I asked my next guest why it's so hard to find them. Well, let's go back. Uh, being a lifeguard is not an easy job. You know, it's hard to obtain. There's a lot of training. You have to be a very strong swimmer. You have to undergo a lot of uh, technical training where you learn CPR, uh, getting up close and personal and dragging people around in the water. You have to be very alert. You have to learn to watch the water, read the water, victim recognition, and on and on. So being a lifeguard is not an easy job. You have to really want to be a lifeguard. And once you are a lifeguard, you're a lifeguard for life. It's a great job. Absolutely. Now, what we have seen, Wyatt, in, in many uh, municipalities and cities across this country, uh, during the summertime, we see many cities hire young people as lifeguards. So are they not interested anymore? What's the problem that we're seeing with the young people who typically become lifeguards during the summer for a summer job? Well, you're correct in that. You know, we have over 309,000 parks and pools not counting the open water like this or the beach. And they rely on the uh, seasonal from Memorial Day to Labor Day, high school or college kids come back and even uh, J-1 visa students would come from overseas to help out. Well, with the pandemic, the cancellation of the J-1 visas, now we're seeing a shortage. Oh, okay, okay, now that definitely makes sense. Any chance you can get those visas back on the table again to get many of those uh, lifeguards from other countries back into the United States? Well, we can only keep hoping that that comes through again for us. Uh, you know, let's get this pandemic thing out of the way as well. I think that's what slowed that down. And we're going to work around that. You know, we're actually offering incentives. We have higher work or, or higher wages now for lifeguards. So we're also reaching out to the uh, retired fields like myself I'm retired but I'm still capable and we're getting everyone involved and bringing them back out so we're trying to solve a solution we're going to get through this so what's the average pay for a lifeguard nowadays oh you're, you're talking a variety of east to west it's it's like anything else a cost of milk it's it's very very uh, dynamic and it changes from whatever area you're in but it is seasonally a livable wage well, you know, minimum wage in a lot of cases, uh, sometimes a couple of dollars above minimum wage, but absolutely. It's, uh, it, it's a very rewarding job. You know, I would do it for free. <laughs> I mean, it, it's something that's a passion, a way of life for me. And not only can it be fun, but it all can, also can be instructional and it can save lives of, of thousands of people out there each year. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've laid these hands on three people that were blue and purple and I did CPR and I brought them back. And that's very rare, because it's usually like one in a hundred that you actually can do CPR on. But in my career, I've had a, a very long extensive career. I, I've, I've seen over 48 fatalities pull out of the water. So it is challenging, but it's rewarding. And it's something that you'll, you know, you grow to love and it becomes a way of life. And if there are individuals out there watching who would like to help with this lifeguard shortage, where should they go to get more information on becoming a lifeguard besides their their city that may be hiring as well, or their parks department? Well, yes, first look in your local area. Most of the municipalities, YMCAs, uh, Red Cross in your local area. If you have ocean lifeguarding, your city, your county. Uh, we offer, American Lifeguard Association has a certification program online. We, uh, there's several out there that you could look at. But if you do some research and get out in front of it, you'll find out whether it's something that you want to do or not. All right. Wyatt Warnock from the American Lifeguard Association, thank you for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored tonight. And remember, there are lots of openings in Houston with a $500 signing bonus in $16 an hour. Contact the city of Houston.